Now, as I'm sure you guys are aware, I get recommendations for animes to put on the channel all the time, every day, whether it be on Discord, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube comments, literally everywhere. But I must say, when I get recommendations like excessively, like a lot, they kind of stick out. And these are one of those instances. Ushoku Tensei, or Jobless Reincarnation, is something I've heard not only from my other reactor friends, but everybody in the comments, everybody on Twitter, everybody on Discord. So, with that being said, it piqued my interest a little bit, so I thought I'd start it. I'm very excited for some new content on the channel. Hopefully you guys are as well. Uh, I say we dive right on into it. What is up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, the one and only, back at it again, starting a new show. Like I said earlier, Mushoku Tensei. I have no idea what this is about. I know it's called Jobless Reincarnation, so I'm assuming it's some sort of Isekai, kind of like Reincarnated as the Slime, Rising of the Shield Hero, ReZero, SAO, a number of Isekais where you are sucked into another world. I'm assuming that's what it is about. Like I said, I have no idea. The only thing I know about this show is I have heard some people say that the MC, the main character, is somewhat questionable. Other than that, I have no idea what to expect. No idea what animation studios behind this. No idea if I'm going to recognize any voice actors. I don't even know how many episodes it is, honestly. Let me check real quick. This is 23 episodes. Okay. I am excited for it. Just so you guys are aware, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we put on, the, on this channel, the full-length version of this reaction, which is normally available on the Patreon as an exclusive tier, is available for free for everyone. So make sure to click the link in the top of the description. Check that out. Come back here for the review when you're done. Keep my watch time up and make sure to leave a like and comment and all that. But if you guys do enjoy that format and want to consider keeping that for the future, consider checking out that Patreon. It is a great time, fun time. You do see some exclusive content. If there's any Patreon requests that people put in that I can't do on YouTube, I do put it up there. So make sure to check that out. Fantastic time, fantastic community. The Dapper Squad is very welcoming. Um, don't forget to follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel i say let's hop into this new show i'm super excited um mushoku tensei or jobless reincarnation episode one titled jobless reincarnation i'm assuming we're gonna get the whole setup and i i love oh i love diving into new worlds i'm giddy right now i am very excited before this starts i do want to let you guys know real quick i do have covid i have been quarantining this is day seven for me right now so i have i think i might go for 14 because i really still don't feel well my throat is killing me i'm coughing left right and center and as you can tell my throat is very raspy and my voice is not up to par so if you guys ever hear me coughing or i sound a little funny just bear with me guys for a little bit we're toughing through it. Uh, I know Can't Stop Amani also got COVID. I know there's a lot of content creators that got COVID. It is rough. It is a struggle out there. But we got to be safe. Quarantine when you can. You know, I just wanted to let you guys know that if I sound a little funnier than normal. All right, here we go. A new show. I have no idea what about. Uh-oh. Kado Ka was not a good sign off rip. I won't lie. So two kids missing. Someone seems to be in critical condition. The driver of the truck who hit them is okay. What language are they speaking when they're talking like that? I am very curious. <laughs> no, I feel you there. I feel you there. <laughs> Okay, so while they were reincarnating him, aka the doctors in the real life, due to his car accident, this was the sounds he and us were hearing in his head, the people in his reincarnated other world also trying to resuscitate him? Because they seem to be happy that he's awake and conscious, but they're kissing him. I've... Are, are we just kissing everyone? Oh, yeah. What? That's what I'm curious about. What is? It? <laughs> oh, we are a baby. Imagine having full adult consciousness in a baby's body. Is that why we can't understand the language they're speaking? Because we're a baby? 
さかそんな妄想めいたことが現実になるとはなパウロとゼニス年齢は20代前半といったとパウロとゼニスパウロとゼニスパウロとゼニスパウロとゼニスパウロとゼニスパウロとゼニスパウロとゼニスパウロとゼニスパウロとゼニスパウスパウロとゼニスパウロとゼニスパウロとゼニスパウロとゼニスパウロとゼニスパウロとゼニスパウロとゼニスパウロとゼニスパウロとゼニスパウロ Yeah, you could bust open your head as a baby just like that. That could be horrible. Ooh, spell. We have magic. This is a fantasy land. Okay. <laughs> I, could, I could see how he, being who he is, would think that. But no, this is real magic. I love the animation style, too, the art style. That's such a shock to see that magic and shit is real like that, you know? Okay, adventurer mommy. I bet you mom and dad being ex adventurers are kind of badass, I won't lie. I mean, look at him, he's kind of brawling training out there with the sword, you know? A world of sword and sorcery. Oh my god. We're gonna see all kinds of new animals and creatures too. Like I said, I love diving into new worlds, meeting new characters, new rules, magics, all that. I'm excited. Yeah. I like that transition. They're <laughs> just letting him read, probably. Oh, he has no idea what he's reading. Just looking at the pictures. The magic manual. <laughs> Let the great protection of water be on the place thou seekest. I call a refreshing burbling stream here and now. Water ball. Wow. See, I'm really liking the art style and the animation. And he made a little bit of water. That's dope. And he's trying to dry it up so no one sees. I like how you can see the magic or the mana. I don't know what that is flowing through his body, processing through his mind, the energy, as it concentrates into his hand to formulate that ball. Ah, he didn't even need to do the incantation. Wow, maybe he's a prodigy. Maybe he's somewhat exceptional. Yeah, he's already out. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. He is training rigorously month after month after month. Maybe you're different than your average person though. Maybe you're exceptional. And then he knocks out again. I like how it's named Laplace. Just like the one of the clowns and we're just gonna ignore that okay i'm very curious what this show is gonna be about who the antagonist is gonna be I like the point of view he's coming from, like I said, how he has heard of some basic magic elements from a multitude of resources such as video games, manga, light novels, like he said, anime and such, you know? So he has a different he has a he has a different couple of possibilities in which it could go. Like he said, maybe it could be doing this training early could increase my maximum output that I get when I get older. Maybe I'm unique. Maybe he's, he, I like how he's coming up with a whole bunch of different thesis and hypothesis, and he's doing active experiments to weed out and refine the variables. So he knows exactly what it is. He has plenty of time to do it from his childhood, you know, and he has plenty just day in, day out just practicing. But I really like how open-minded and 
And the fact that he doesn't have a teacher who's already established as a magic user in this world doesn't set him to any concrete bad principles like he was just saying he can't believe everything you read, you know? He's discovering it for himself very openly, and I really like that. Uh-oh, he wants to move on to intermediate magic? Well, now what are we talking about that? He's gonna make, like, wind? Splash flow. Um, yeah, we are kind of strong. Yep, she's happy. Her son is talented. Yep, <laughs> of course a mother is happy. I know, at his age. Mmm. <laughs> That is true. He's showing promise. Are we gonna be like a super special? Okay, are they gonna have... Are they... They need to not... They are a young couple, you can tell. I like that hat. It reminds me of Megumin from Konosuba. Yeah, I like her hair. Roxy. Hello. Okay, 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 okay. Lolly, he said. Okay. Attack, healing, and summoning. Touche. Seven ranks. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, sacred, royal, imperial, and divine. Imagine some divine magic. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't think of that either. Can we re Oh. So healing magic works on all sorts of life, not just human life. All sorts of biological. That's dope. I like that system how there's three but they all are divided into their subsets. So you could be a imagine you're a divine attacker but you're like intermediate or advanced in the healing and summoning you know you could be a it's like i like that i like the setup but that's the thing about fantasy type anime they're always well grounded and have really good rules and things they adhere to you know so i always love them Oh, he's saying it. What does that mean? And why is that? Oh, wh where did he accidentally shoot it? Oh, he's the one who broke it. Oh, he re-broke the tree. Are you serious? Oh, and she's getting blamed. That's dirty. So far, just good vibes throughout the show. So that's what makes me wonder what the antagonist is going to be, what our main goal throughout the show is going to be. That looks like quite the spread. Wait, we got a whole welcome party for Roxy? Yeah, and then we also died on Earth. What is going on on Earth? Are we just saying fuck it to Earth? We're just, okay, we're all in it. I feel it. Sometimes a jobless reclusive. Okay, jobless reincarnation. I get it now. Sometimes you get that second chance and here we go. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, here we go on to episode two. Let's find out what happens with our jobless reincarnation. Funeral ceremony. Was this for his parents' funeral? Was he jacking off during his parents' funeral? Or is this someone else? This better not be our main character. Talk about one way to get evicted. Holy shit. Was this who he was helping when he got hit by a car? He said, I hope those kids made it out of there. Was that really our main? This is really our main character? Oh, 
Wowzers. Wowzers. I didn't even notice the... What am I watching? I'm over here paying attention to the lore. I'm trying to learn about magic. Demon kind. Like, listen to that. That sounds interesting as shit. And he's a straight panty gazing. <laughs> really? The supered. Demons called the Laplace War. That is some real deal shit right there. Damn. Oh, fuck no. Yeah, no. Oh, no. Hell no. Get that shit out of here. Emerald green hair and what looks like a red gem on their forehead. Noted. I... Noted. That's gonna happen. <laughs> okay, so a whole year since last episode. That's crazy. We're getting a lot stronger. So it seems just off rip that we're going to be a lot more magically inclined than physically. Wait, we're only four? I didn't realize we're only four. I thought we were like eight. <laughs> oh, he just has PTSD from other kids doing that to him. That's obviously didn't happen, but... Oh, that's horrible. So yes, understandable. <laughs> that okay. I know I said it last episode, but I really like the design of her staff. Mm, it's pretty high. Yeah, in any worlds like this, I would love to visit mad areas, you know. Really? We gotta go there. Yeah. I understand, but magic school, come on. All about results, all about your magical prowess. Thank you, Roxy. I wonder what she means by that. Now she's trying to do incantationless magic. She can't do it at all. I wonder what makes him special that he can do it. I'm genuinely curious. Okay, another six months. Really? So 5, 10, 15. 15, you become an adult. Interesting. That is a crazy ass fucking birthday talent. I'd fucking clap the shit out of that. Good job. Ooh. That's nice. That's a good father-son gift. Yeah, a little bit. Mom's always got to outshine dad, you know. Oh, is it like a wand? Again, the design looks sick. I love the stone. Four types of advanced attack magic. Graduation exam. Already, that's great. At the age of five. Limp oh my god, it gets even worse. Yeah, getting actually getting over that hurdle, the actual PTSD is, PTSD is very hard, you know. 
It's so easy to just slip back into your old routine, right? To take a step forward. That first step's easily the hardest. I feel you. I feel you. And I like how he sees it's his it's his new form, looking back on his old form and like, oh, it's so well done. Socially anxious. <laughs> all right he gets a little assistance from roxy taking that first step hopefully it does work out i see the way they're doing that ptsd flashback and stuff is really well done though it really reminds me of arcane and the ptsd stuff they did there yeah see no one's here to call you limp dick it's just you roxy in the open air easy you got nice farmers, good people. And I don't mean to say this to get any any deep or, you know, crazy on you guys. But I, I kind of relate to our main character a lot in that aspect. As I was getting older, I it took I definitely was never one that was super self-conscious. But anytime anyone would, like, stare at you or you'd hear someone laughing and you were, like, walking by yourself or something, you'd automatically assume, at least I would, that they were laughing at you. They were talking about you, staring at you, you know. Whereas now that I'm an adult, I have fully grown up to realize, and it's changed a lot since high school. High school is crazy, but people like, obviously there are people who like judge like that, but the vast majority of people really don't give a shit about, you know, like they'll never see you again ever in their life. You know, they'll never, they'll think about you maybe for the next five seconds, five minutes while they're in line in the drive through McDonald's. And it's just like, so I, I completely understand what my man is going through right now. I just am going to really enjoy him overcoming that. I just want to let you guys know that because it's very special to me, I should say. See, he's worried about this dude judging him, looking at him, and this dude's just a nice old man. Yeah, thanks for the other day. What was the name of the horse? Caravaggio? Saint level. Is that like the second from the top? Third from the top? Watch closely, memorize it, and then cast it. That's your final exam. Saint level magic. Okay. No, because it's powerful as shit. Hell yeah. This is why I'm hyped. Grand spirit of water, an imperial prince of lightning who ascends to the heavens. Grant my wish and bring about a savage blessing. I can't lie, this looks dope. Like, I'm really liking the Cumulo Nimbus. I like the name, kind of like a cloud, you know? Because he was right next to the tree. Oh my god. <laughs> that made me scared as shit. Poor horsey. Okay. Hey, you protect him. <laughs> I was like, God damn it, that horse did nothing wrong. Okay, good, we actually did. I love the animation. Oh, bro, he is so powerful. It makes perfect sense why they took a good distance and a good walk away from the village. <laughs> <laughs> A saint level water mage at the age of five. Thank you, Sensei. Shouts out Roxy. Could have done it without her. I agree, you don't have to. <laughs> that seems like a cool necklace. I like the charm design. It was an honor to have you, Roxy. As our sensei. May your travels go well and smooth, and may you learn magic at divine levels all over the world. She did. That's probably the biggest thing, honestly. I went outside, that's all it was. But baby steps. Baby steps. That first step is huge. Hell yeah.
I hope we run into her again someday. It'd be nice to see her again. Cool, man. <laughs> How are they just gonna end it like that? Is this our first time here in the opening? Well, talk about an intro to a show. I would say I really liked how they're taking their time and really setting us up and really having us get to know the world we're in, the characters and the magic in there involved. It didn't like really like it, I don't want to say it was slow paced. It was perfectly paced because I really I really like getting invested in and getting to know these characters. I'm just shocked at the circumstances which our main character reincarnated. Like you look at reincarnated as the slime. It's a lot different the way we get reincarnated this time. I, I need to know, was that his parents' funeral? And like someone was just so sick of him being a recluse that he they kicked him out of his old parents' house because that he was just staying. He didn't even go to their funeral. He was beating off. And then on the street, he saw a girl getting harassed by a few boys and he tried to save them, aka putting himself in a critical condition with that truck. And then he got reincarnated as a baby to Paul and Zenith, who Zenith talk about quite a MILF, like Rudy. I mean, bro, the things that goes on in Rudy's, he is a pervert. That is something that is quite funny, but it was quite crazy at times as well. But the magic system really intrigued. I really like the rankings and, and the different subsets. Like right now, you know, we used some offense magic, some attack magic, but I'm very curious to see some, uh, to see some summoning magic and uh what was the other one it was attack healing and summoning so obviously i wonder how deep the healing can go like if you have divine level healing can you repair limbs can you on the brink of death type healing what are we talking about because that saint level water magic was pretty damn fucking crazy and i cannot wait to see some more my biggest questions are obviously who's going to be the main antagonist what's going to be our long-term goal for our main character are we going to try to live out our life as best as we can in our new world are we going to try to get back to our old world? Very curious. Very curious indeed. I very much like Roxy. I like Zenith. I like Paul. Um, no other characters besides Lilia the maid who seems cool so far. But I'm curious to dive deeper in this world. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes. Or you want to watch it in early access or full length. Check out that Patreon. Uh, links are down below. Four episodes, early access, all that jazz. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Don't forget to drink some water, be safe, tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.